true and tried Garchomp versus the best Gar uh, Gengar and a Sir Spud. That's not a Gengar. <laughs> That's not a Gengar at all. That is not a Gengar. <laughs> Surprise, surprise. Sir Spud pulling out his secondary Caesar here. He's definitely been working on it. And I think he's been doing pretty well with it. And I know Escadale used to know Scissor, and I feel like it's fallen off the radar at this point. But hopefully he has no retained in the back of his to get through this matchup. Alright, Escadale getting that hard knockdown. Good flash. That CA getting in there. Debated to be one of the top four CAs, at least among the last people I talked to. Scissors, I mean, ooh. Certainly, with Scissor being able to move through it. Yup. Beautiful range. I'm not seeing a lot of vulnerables on that thing. Bad ooh. release X on SK Dale's part, but no punish. SK Dale does get out of the corner. Yo, dig. Does that CA with dig. It's very active. Sword dancing. Ooh, kind of puts himself back in the corner, but he can get out of this. Now, what is that back up and claw move? Does it have a name? I, it has a name, but I can't quite recall. Yeah. It's Metal Claw. Oh, it is Metal Claw? Metal Claw? Okay. The second part is the Oh, okay. So it's just like enhanced Metal Claw or something. Anyway, that does a lot of work. Oh, and it's very surprising. Following up with the burst, catches SK Dale dashing in with just a straight up normal grab. Bit of a wasted burst on SK or on Sir Spud's part, but he does build up meter quite quickly. I had just noticed that he's using SK Dale's support on against him. What kind of theme does that? The people who know Miss Magius is good, that's what kind of theme. Hey, mix ups are mix ups. Everybody benefits <laughs> oh, from it. Oh crit really is X, so it did less than I thought it was gonna do, but it's still really good. And here it is again! Sir Spud not falling for any of that cart nonsense, but he still gets blown up. Mid release sex. Alright, good dash out. I don't know if that's not punishable if it cancels into something or something like that. So there's no way. Caesar. Ooh! Escadale getting in, but finding it hard oh, to stay there. Yes. Alright. Give him the clamps. That was not a bug fight. That's probably what Escadale was thinking of. Ooh! Good job. Sorry. No problem. Ooh, Sansoon catching out that CA. He's probably CADCing there. Alright, hard knockdown. This kid else has got to be waiting for the bug fight, but he gets regularly grabbed on with instead. There's Bud. Mad pro strat of running sideways. Ooh, Fine good job. SK Dale jumping out of div with that sword dance. He goes right through everything. Reset face your points. There's no points here. Now there's extra no points here. Nine tails? What does this do? I mean, it makes us get a time out his first little bit. Yeah, that is punishable. Applies defense down on hit. It's pretty good as a defensive tool as well as an offensive tool because you can use it to keep someone in a corner as well. It's true. I think I like it better as offensive than defensive unless you're a zoner. All right. So we're spread rushing in. Ooh, Jeff that could that have been grab. a crit. Ugh. Escadale was the one that landed the first, but Sir Spud is about to bring this all the way back. And right, not a repeat jumps last out time. dig. Ooh. Nice AY, that mid high what invulnerability was... oh. pulling through anti airing. This is true. I do remember Scissor has an awkward amount of highs, so that's probably why. That's why I feel like Weavile beats him, just because he's. Has the slide and go slow in general. Garchomp, I would have thought I had a harder time, but yes, he's wide. He's super, super nice. Yeah, it, the mid high and vulnerable comes in handy against quite a couple characters Caesar and Charizard, especially two of them, as a lot of their normals are mid high. Sir Spud uh, is still sticking with Bug. 
That's, it does not look safe. It is not. Beats Cutter getting punished by the normal grab there. All right, CADC and uh, both fun. Uh, given Guard Chomp's Metal lack claw. of being short, this dig is doing a lot of work for him right now. Mm -hmm. but I like that he's being really careful with the outcome, too. Floor staple straight into Metal Claw version. Yo! Sir Spud using what Caesar is best at, CAing and just controlling space surely by movement alone. Alright, that looks like it's punchable because SKDL has been bopping it a lot. Oh, you turn, get out of the corner. Big damage. Dash is straight into a normal grab. Sir Spud in a really good spot right now. Go. Nice JY from uh, SKDL there. Okay, the Sir Spud is just really careful with the scissor. He's got no problem. Digging under, just... catching Caesar JY in, Ooh. but does not punish that uh, bullet punch thing. Dig trying to go under it, but does not succeed. Alright. Pocket Sand? No, was that like U turn or something? That was not a U turn, that was CA. Uh, SK Dale was probably uh, trying to catch him for uh, side dashing out of CA. Oh, right. So Umbreon. there's a U turn. SK Dale quick on the Umbreon call for a punish. Sap out some of his uh, synergy meter. My dive kick is better than your dive kick. All right. We go for the PSP reset. Not enough time for Sand Tomb to charge there. I think he was trying to tick throw, but didn't expect Spud to go flying into the wall. That's, that is the safe one. That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt a lot. Now this is pretty heavily scaled, however. Okay, never mind. With Raid. So it still Sir hurt Spud a lot. Is, look at all Sir Spud's that living. Now. It hurt a lot, but... Sir Spud not clean patient there on, with the uh, upper edge on uh, SK Dale's. You know, fortunately for SK Dale, he burned his burst in the process, but he took a very nice round there. If I'm not mistaken, they have the same synergy meter. It's just Sir Spud saved us for this round. That's why it's working. You can grab that. There we go. Definitely can grab you turn. Right, running in after that charge CA. Trying to bug shot. What if string shot? Oh no. This is gonna be big damage. There is no rage defense boost here for uh, SK Dale. This have had some uh, combo scaling or something? I don't think that no that was wrong. Just the end does not do a lot. I don't know. Did well Just commit! Damage. There we go. Alright. I know. Contesting each other with CAs. Gets out in time to not take the debuff. SK Dale charging the X. Caesar not having any of it. Just no. Running in. No grab. Y into Kark X. Ooh, I see right, yeah, He had two get out of jail free cards. Still got one more. That's not gonna work, is it? No, he dashed back. It's he gonna dashed work. Dash back, yep. Unfortunate. The last thing you wanna do is press a button when you just block a uh, Kark Axe. <laughs> it's nasty. It's plus on block. <laughs> There's no, it, it was just a overall bad decision. Like, Garchomp has a lot, so many like multi hit moves, I think, or rather that just lasts so long that back dash doesn't really save you. I'm not sure, except for 8Y, but why would you 8Y if you're plus on block? Like, it's kind of silly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bringing out the Gengar this time. Now, I thought his scissor did really well, but his Gengar is still stronger than this. As for the matchup, I have no idea. Gengars are a rare breed. Yeah, they are. They do have a very hard execution to pull off as a character with plenty of one frame teams. Setting down that charge shadow ball. Oh, nice shadow sneak. 
All right, Escadel catching him in this iframe parade. Ooh, really six catching Adix. Right, he didn't have frog last time, did he? He has his Miss Mages or something. Why frog? Ooh. I guess frog is really good on Gengar for setups. Counter into counter, that works. If it Big works, do it. it. Astonish. Here we go. He's Classic going for those timer loops. scam combos. That's a nice healthy synergy off of that too. <laughs> Alright, CAD sings straight into CA, but Garchomp's oh. very active on the attack for a plus straight through it. Ooh! One HP. Who will get the next hit? That is Spud. That there is a frame trap. You do not want to anti-air uh, JY, especially as a big character. I'm trying to think. So all I, my brain kind of went somewhere as soon as he was done doing curse, because it looked like he just went over. Yeah, that's true. He must have done AY before. Yeah, anyway, moving on. Skadel taking control of this corner, taking control of his synergy too. Good conversion into Umbria. Yeah. All right, baby legs getting G Gengar out of the corner, but Garchomp quick on the heel for the punish. When I was playing as Gideon, I had no idea where the uh, where the disc was going. It just seems to go around and then just disappears, and then it's very thrown off by that. It's All right, Sir Spud sending down that space with the Sludge Bomb. As Gadel not having any of it, digs under. Big at, damage. At this point, he has no way to get rid of Gengar's synergy. Unless Umbreon comes back. Aside from a. Uh, oh, yeah, a shield break, too. But... You gotta land okay. a hit on this ghost boy first. Punches him and goes straight into the curse, knowing that he can't punch that CA, but curse can. Going for burst. And he has the life lead. He could just sit there, but he's not. He's going to stand too. But yeah, it was a very sticky situation there. Super close. He's technically on the corner. And he had, what, like 17 seconds of time that out? Good shot. The Sir Spud special. See, you can see his straight four for that grab. Sludge Bomb doing lots of attack debuff. How long is that gonna last? As long as Sir Spud can catch him digging. Oh, that debuff just went to town on that BNB. Countering around field. CADC, CADC, normal grab. Alright. Yeah. That seemed to do more than the last one. Dang. Nice get Dale. Sticky situation. No burst, no support. What's he gonna do? This is a bad spot to be pressing buttons. Good dig, oh, but this is gonna be he punished. Did, he did go hard. under the laser, but yeah. Yeah. It is not safe on block. Oh, I, I think I think he knows that. <laughs> I think he was just hoping Sir Spud was going to push a button, which has been working a lot pretty well, but Mega Gengar has very little reason to jump, especially if Garchomp is underground. Mm -hmm. On top of that, you don't really want to contest with Gengar's buttons, you just want to, like, stuff him out and prevent him from being able to push him in the first place. It's true. It is really hard to do anything when he's got momentum, though, and you kind of just want to crawl into a hole and then crawl out of it and into another hole because you came into the first hole and then right. it's kind of a mess. CA conversion and the curse. Ooh. We get another one. All these vertical hits. I Getting wonder... that curse. Oh, whoa. What was that? Oh my god. A little, a little bit. Sir Spud taking that pretty fast. Very fast in a single round as <laughs> building I know, he, a full synergy. The, see this? I think he's running whimsical. He's mentioned he really likes it, and that would be the easiest way to get somebody like Gengar's synergy up, assuming it all went through. Umbreon denying that synergy though. True. Baby Cake's getting out of here. All right. Now is this going to be enough to get him his burst? Yes, it is.
I'm just getting out knowing that if he nice committed, Sir Spud would have punished him. Yeah. Good timing on the CA there. Charges Shadow Ball, goes for the mix up. Kicks Gengar into the corner. Six foot one to end this, just calls Burst and Frog. Maybe Gengar getting in there. All right, I'm seeing tons of Supersonic all of a sudden. What's going on? I haven't seen that move in like a month. Ooh! Good job, Sir Spud. It's a bad spot you get put in when you get attacked by uh, Gengar's normal. Just his, just his straight normal attacks and his homing attacks are very active. And you run, if you CA, DC, or CA against any of that, you are as good as dead. Especially because it's Spud. Spud's used to like everybody's shenanigans. You gotta come up with your own brand new full proof shenanigans to get around this guy. Yeah, you need to play disrespectful, but in the smart way that he <laughs> isn't expecting. Because Sir Spud's all about that set play action. Okay. Shadow sneaks after he gets that charge in. Whoa, we just Ivern through Stonage? Nice. Alright, crit CA, converts it into curse, gets that meter. Bash is getting into the wall. Even with an attack debuff, Rage is putting in work here. Garchomp set up. Nice dash out. These iframes! And we are calling that flock gear for the pressure. Homing tax right on the CA. Woo! And it. Good job, SK Dale! Now they're both about one combo away, and that's it for that round. SK Dale on match point from resetting this bracket. Not a lot. Both opponents okay. sitting on a lot of meter, however. So there's Spud now topping off. Taking out SK Dale's meter. All right, show to sneak there off of that There we go. Catch him that cancel dash. Woo! Into the wall. Into the wall again, and release X into the wall. Already taking commanding lead in this game, but Sir Spud sitting on burst with like the best options in the game. Once he's making Gengar. All right, relax. Catches Sir Spud on Stonage this time. All right, high stancing the Frogadier. All right, he's gonna save that burst until he really needs it. There we go. He's feeling it. Oh, okay, Sir Spud's like actually really good at just framing through the burst wave. It's crazy. Yep, it's easy. It's just forward dashing the moment it stops super flashing. He's, he's getting caught, yep. yep getting caught. It's not over yet though. No. There's still one more round. No amount of rage can save his life. Skidale starting just a meager amount more synergy than Gengar, but it's not going to do a whole lot because Gengar can. Wait, he is running back. He's got to be running with him. Round three. Whoa! Good whip punish. That's all it is. Alright. Good JMX there. It's not a matter of what. Good patience from Sir Spud. Not getting the synergy sapped oh. out by that Umbreon. Good CADC into grab. That ghost dash is just beautiful. Alright, send that phase. Shift down with the Shadow Ball. BUI taking command of the field. Sledge Bomb taking command of duel. Alright, Sir Spud Shadow sneaking away from that sand too. These call outs. Sir Spud is very close to having full meter. Alright, okay. Skidale not getting caught by those grabs. CA, DC. He's building up a, just a tad bit of meter. Ooh, pocket sand catching Gengar. But Gengar's got Mega now. Ooh, That's counter gonna be some him. big damage. Here's the mix up. Oh, the tick throw to victory. And Sir Spud will take the 